Litva, a two-year-old Kazon, is a member of the Hope Crisis Response Team. She lives in Oregon, but was called to New York to work as a Red Cross dog at the World Trade Center disaster. Tikva's owner, Cindy Ellers, is an animal okay. behaviorist. She founded the Oregon-based Hope Crisis Response Team. It's a volunteer organization that provides animal-assisted emotional support to people in crisis or disaster situations. Tikva can tell who needs her help. She picks up on body language cues and approaches people sitting alone who exhibit distress or withdrawn behavior. Cindy and Tikva were one of the four teams the Red Cross called to Ground Zero. They provided emotional support for families of the missing, as well as for the firefighters, police officers, and emergency workers. I was relieved to be able to have her to work with because I knew she knew what she was doing. We've been training Tikva since she was nine weeks old. She knew the people and she knew what they needed. Karen Soika is a professional crisis counselor. She'd been working at Ground Zero for a week before Tikva and Cindy arrived. When I got there, um, it was still very chaotic and uh, very horrific. My responsibility was the rescue workers at Ground Zero. At that time, there was anywhere between two to 4,000 of them working at any given moment. They were amazing because they're very stoic. They were very traumatized and had to continue to do the work they were doing. The mentality was, we don't need help, you know, psychologically we're fine, we're tough, leave us alone. And it was very obvious, their defenses were very strong. But when the workers saw Tikva, something happened. Tikva would come along and they would react and their eyes would light up or they would smile. So the men, it was okay for them to approach Tikva and pet her and talk to her. And in doing that, with me being with her, and they knew I was a mental health worker, then they could talk with me without losing face. I mean, it just was amazing. Kazans have long, thick, fluffy coats. Their small face and pointed ears give them a fox-like expression. They are gentle, devoted to their owners, and especially love children. She kissed you. That was a kiss. Lyndon Harris is the pastor of St. Paul's Chapel, right by Ground Zero. He saw Tikva in action. We started a relief ministry at St. Paul's Chapel, and uh, one of the ministries we were excited to, to see happen in our vicinity is a ministry of the therapy dogs. And uh, therapy dogs can make a huge difference, just to bring a smile to the face of someone who has been digging for the remains of human life is a really important job to do. After the World Trade Center crisis, Cindy and Tikva began giving workshops to train more dogs and handlers for emergency situations. Today, they're in Rockland County, New York. Tikva is showing these dogs how to remain calm in a crisis. The workshop familiarizes the dogs with the sights, sounds, and smells they'd encounter in an emergency, so they won't be nervous when called to a disaster site. 
This high-pitched whistle indicates a firefighter is losing his air supply. The dogs are trained to remain calm. was down there too for a couple of weeks. When were you down there? Pretty much. The whole time? Yeah. After September 11th, Tikva also gave comfort to families of the victims. Nancy Zuckerman's husband died in the World Trade Center. Tikva kind of uh, saved my life. She was a little miracle for me. Seeing her is very, very powerful. Uh, when I was waiting to go on the ferry to go visit my husband there, I remember just sitting there and then all of a sudden Cindy and Tikva appear and they find us and this little dog jumps in my lap and it's licking my face and I start crying and she just felt, I'm sure, just all of my emotions because she was just wouldn't stop licking my face. It was just uh, so beautiful. It's just beautiful. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Nancy is a professional massage therapist. She wanted to give something back to Tikva. I could see that this dog's energy had dissipated because she was giving so much. When people, you know, embrace and if they're crying or if they're feeling emotion, I believe dogs feel that. So you could tell that she was taking in too. So she just looked tired and she laid down and she was so exhausted. So I was massaging her and I just helping her relax, I thought. And I felt like she was responding. I think she really felt it and it, I think it was making her feel more peaceful and relaxed. I just want everyone to know that how special they are and how special they've been to me and that we are now new friends and we will continue to be friends. And that's the other part of what's beautiful in this whole event. She said that she saw Tikva as a sign to give her hope in that time. I know that that moment helped Nancy be able to get through many more moments that were very hard after that day. Even in the midst of this disaster, there's beauty. <laughs> Cindy is still touched by Tikva's effect on emergency workers at Ground Zero. I did not realize the impact that we would have until we left. It was very hard for me to leave, emotionally, because they loved Tikva by that time. They were starting to ask, well, are we gonna see her tomorrow? They were starting to accept her as their comrade. 